Math of several recent fires in our city, the Louisville Fire Department is warning everybody to remain aware as the temperatures drop again. Alexis Jones and photojournalist Emma Gafter spoke with one of the fire chiefs here about how you can keep your family safe. Over the past few weeks, Louisville Fire says it's seen a rise in fires and homeless encampments around our city, including one last week that left one person dead and another one with injuries. While it's still unclear what caused the tent fire on College Street, officials hope it doesn't happen again. We want to make sure that people are kind of paying attention. Uh, we want everybody uh, to consider public safety a, a job for all of Metro Louisville. Fire Chief Brian O'Neill is urging community members to be more vigilant, not just with your own home, but any encampments or vacant structures. Because those fires and vacant structures, they oftentimes go unnoticed and they'll build to a larger potential, which can then impinge on the, the homes nearby. This is why O'Neill says it's crucial to call the fire department at the sign of danger or turn to the city's homeless services and shelters if you're in need of a warm place to stay. However, outreach workers say that's easier said than done. Last Tuesday, they told us Mayor Craig Greenberg's administration has pushed people away from resources since taking office. We've had more clearings in the, the, the past couple months of, the, of this administration than we have in a total of years together. And that's not okay. You know, um, so we, we need to do better. In a statement, Greenberg's office said Metro's homeless services team works every day to connect people with permanent housing resources. They also work to prevent public safety hazards like open fires that are often found at encampments. Chief O'Neill shares the same sentiments Tuesday, assuring the city provides the best options for weathering the bitter cold. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHAS 11 on your side. Last year, the city had nine multiple alarm fires, and of those, six started in vacant buildings. The majority of those fires happened in the cold months.